Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle, and today I'm going to be making ramen noodles for the first time. I'm so excited because I love eating ramen noodles, it's so good. And the uh, first thing you're going to need is a pan, you're going to need a packet of ramen noodles, of course, and you're going to need some water. And if you like to add anything else with your ramen noodles, then you can go ahead and grab those. In my case, I like having egg and some frozen vegetables. If you've never tried that out, make sure you guys go ahead and do that because it tastes amazing. So yeah, the first thing we're going to do is heat this pan up. So let's go here and let's put this at medium, okay guys? So we're going to put that there. And I am going to see, is this okay? Yep, it is okay. So let's put some water in it. I'm going to be extremely careful. So guys, if you're under 15, you are going to need some adult supervision. So yeah, make sure you guys have some parent nearby so that they can supervise you and tell you how to do this. Oh, not Okay, let's put the rest of this in. And guys, if you're wondering, I put in this entire bug. It's really important you do that. And let's let it soak for a little. But yeah, this is my first time making ramen noodles. Oh my god, I'm so excited because it's so yummy. I love them so much, like you can tell. And today we are going to be making the chicken flavor ramen noodles. Delicious. Uh, there are so many different types and um, I prefer the chicken flavor. So I think it has boiled up enough. So we can put the packet of noodles in. This looks delicious already. The smell perfect. And I'm going to grab this and you're just gonna stir it. You're also gonna have to break this up by yourself. So again, really important you have um, parent supervision with this. So yeah. Let's just let this boil for a little and I'll be right back in about three minutes, guys. See you then! So guys, three minutes is up, the noodles have formed, and I'm going to add in the next ingredient. Now this is the, um, the extra ingredient that I prefer. So if you guys don't like this, or you don't want to add in anything extra, then you guys can go ahead and skip. Uh, so I'm going to stir this egg up. I've already cracked in this three minutes that we've had. So yeah, it definitely keeps to its three minutes. And again, if you're going to crack the egg by yourself, you want to make sure you have adult supervision. That's really important. You know, throughout this whole thing, you really need that supervision. And the water was really hot, so, you know. But it's really fun to make, and it doesn't even take that long. So I'm going to continue doing that. And you guys can see that it's... It's coming together, it's not completely done yet because it has little, little chunks of that dark yellow in it and that's when you can tell you're not done with it just yet. But when it's all this beautiful yellow color, you'll be able to tell that you are done. So right now I have this light yellow color with some clear stuff in it, which means I'm not completely done with it. Okay, so there we go. And I'm just gonna put this in here. And here is the egg, the nice yolk. So yeah, and we also have the frozen uh, vegetables. And next up, I'm going to need to add some olive oil. So here I have some olive oil. And I'm going to need to add this because of course I'm using egg, so it's important. There we go. And I'm just gonna add a little bit, like basically a teaspoon, okay? So here we go. Really scared to do this. I think that should be enough. Or maybe just a little more, maybe just in case. I think that should be enough. Okay, there we go. Some rich olive oil in there. In there, let's let it soak for just a second there. And I'm gonna make sure I mix this in because the ramen noodles are starting to stick to the bottom. So you also gotta uh, make sure that they don't stick to the bottom. So timing is really the key to this. But uh, yeah. So let's get this off and we're also putting in the oil which makes the ramen noodles extremely sticky. So yeah, you're, you're really gonna need to be careful. So now that we have 
uh, done that. We're gonna add in the egg. Okay, exciting. And just be careful, 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 careful. I'm gonna add this entire thing in. Beautiful. Let's put this down. Actually, let's put this in the sink so I can wash it up later. And this will also help the ramen noodles so that they're not really as sticky. And we're gonna mix this in a bit before adding adding in my wonderful frozen vegetables. Delicious. I can tell, I can literally smell this right now, guys. It smells amazing. I love the color, it's definitely coming together. You guys can tell if you have ate ramen noodles before, you know what I'm talking about. It's the smell, the color, the look. Yeah, so let's add in these frozen vegetables. Look at that, so nice, fresh and clean. Oh yes, we're gonna have to add that in right away. Oh, we have a bit more sticking to the bottom. Very sneaky there. <laughs> and we're gonna add these in, so nice and vibrant. There we go. And I'm going to mix this in. And uh, you're probably gonna be asking, Michelle, these are frozen. How are you going to eat frozen vegetables? Well, because of the heat, it's all going to come together. And it's already looking wonderful. Now, guys, this is for one dish. So this is for me, and it's already looking delicious. Mm. The smell, the look, I love it all. And, yeah, we are almost done. So I'm just enjoying my time doing this, because this is my first time again, guys. And now... We have the last important part. Now I'm just gonna add in half of this. You guys see this, this is the chicken flavor, like I said in the beginning of this video. Chicken flavor, we're gonna add in half a packet because this is a bit too salty for me. Um, it might not be that salty for you, but um, you know, everybody has a different taste. And I'm just gonna add in half of this right now. So yeah. Well, let's go. Just add in about half of that, and that should be enough. Okay, so I'm going to put this packet down, careful not to waste. So if anybody else wants to make those ramen noodles, they got that packet right open and just spam it in. So i got to make sure I mix this well in because of course uh, the ramen noodles did stick a bit to the bottom. But like I said, this is my first time guys, don't expect me to be a professional. But um, I need to make sure that it's all mixed in because you guys can see that yellow in the um, center right here. That's where I put it in and that's where all of it is. So we gotta make sure we're doing that. And you guys can already see the color more uh, coming together and it's more vibrant now. It's like that classic ramen noodle. It's not too white. It's almost like the lightest shade of yellow there is. So I think we're almost done guys. And I'm just gonna mix this in a bit more. <coughs> Delicious, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me, sorry. This is delicious. Absolutely delicious. This is going to be awesome. I'm so excited. Woo! And I will see you guys when I'm starting to eat these. Oh my god, I'm so excited! See you guys then! Okay guys, so I am back and here I have my wonderful ramen noodles. They look really good and they smell really good. And I just can't wait to taste them, so I have to have them right here in the kitchen. So let's go. Mmm, that is delicious, guys. Uh, that, well, there it is. This is my experience making ramen noodles. I just shared um, the moment with you guys because this is my first time. Do I recommend you guys make this? Yes. Took me five minutes. It's so easy. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and make sure uh, that you're staying safe from coronavirus. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!